I missed that part. <laughs> oh. I'm Amy with Life with Amy Now. And I'm Londa with Londa's Laboratory. And today we are here in Leesburg, Virginia at Fabioli Cellars. All right, we are here with Doug Fabioli, the owner and vintner of Fabioli Cellars. So Doug, you're gonna take us through how to do a tasting and tell us a little bit about your newest wine coming out in April. That's it, so this is a nice release, springtime. Um, it is our dry rosé. Uh, I wanna show you just a couple little things. We're gonna go ahead and pour. Uh, so this grape, uh, the main grape is Merlot. Um, we blended just a pinch of Chambersen in there. You can see this lovely color, you know, a little salmon color here. And Fabioli Cellars were always unique because we do food wine pairings all the time, every time you did a tasting. So we're not only gonna taste the wine, but we're also gonna do a bite. So first we're gonna taste the wine, but we always talk about the essence. So it's sight, look at the clarity and the color, swirl, um, sniff, sip, and then we do a little thing called slurp. So that's where you draw that wine, the, the air through the wine and you absorb those, the aromas through the wine into your nasal passages. It's kind of cool. I missed that part. <clears throat> oh. Now, when you do that, that's you, yummy. You, the, the aromas yeah. fill your, your nasal passages. You've got a lot of sensors up there. You can smell a lot more than you can taste. Mm -hmm. So it really opens up that wine and it gives you a sense of what you're what you're enjoying. So with Fabioli, when we do it, we, we want to taste with it too. So you, when you come through, you'll get a bite of food. So we always say, sip, bite, sip. And when you get the bite, you get these specific bites that are made already ahead of time, perfectly paired for the wines. And they change each month because we change up our lineup. Very and there's always a different theme. Go ahead and take a bite. You see how the food changes Absolutely. the flavor of the wine? Change the flavor completely. Yeah. And you know, it's finding where one plus one equals three. Let's talk about this wine for a minute, if you don't mind. Sure. Are you growing these grapes here? Where are they coming from? So some of this grape, most of this grape actually comes from California. Okay. And I've been working with California fruit for a while. I grow a lot here, um, but I do bring some, but this is that summertime wine that we love, and I've just found a nice little recipe that complements what we do here. Mm -hmm. um, we grow some Chambersen that gets blended into this, um, and I grow a lot of other wines as well. Um, but this was the one we decided to pick and show like, today. Well, it's great, it's fabulous. Cool. Doug, this has been fabulous. Yes. Thank you. You are seriously the most amazing winemaker around in my opinion. I've got um, better winemakers. There definitely are. I won't say I'm the best winemaker. I, I enjoy what I do and I try to make some great stuff. I just know how much you give back to the wine community. I know that you are a sounding board for other winemakers. Yes. You are always there for the community, agricultural community as well. I know the brewers even come to you for advice on things. So you are immersed in this through and through. And that's why we wanted to meet with you today. You are fabulous. We appreciate you taking the time Thank to you. talk with us, share with your beautiful wine. This was fabulous. And just thank you so much for today. Sure. Yes. Sure. My pleasure. Good to meet you guys. Thank, thank you. I'll see you again, really. Yes. <laughs>